Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a quiz app. Um, so this one's going to be a lo bit longer than others. There's no specific learning goal, just to see how to make a quiz app. So I'm going to start with app. Um, and usually I just start with scripts right here, and then we're going to have style down here. And then down here will be the HTML. And right now I'm just going to put div class equals app. Okay, so how are we going to set this up? Um, good question. I don't even know. So for the app, we're going to want to have uh, here, there's going to be some kind of text for the question. There's going to be um, maybe four answers here. And then like maybe up here or something, there'll be, it'll keep track of points. So the first thing I said, the question, let's call this question. This will be the question component. And actually, I'm going to just, so usually what I do for my template is have something like this. And then I'm going to copy and paste this into my question. And usually here you can do command D and it'll all hit and it'll, I won't do it. It'll highlight both of those. But if you're on here like I am, you're just going to have to do this manually question. Um, and then I'm going to have an answer. So there'll be like four answers to every question. It'll be a multiple choice, multiple choice quiz. And then finally, this will be the points component that stores the how many points the user has. So points and a points. OK, so uh, here I'm going to uh, first make the quiz. So const quiz is going to be an array with all the questions. And each question is going to be a dictionary. It's going to have a question. And the question will be like, uh, is the sky blue? Well, it's a yes or no question. Well, that's fine. Maybe it will be yes or no. Um, and then I'll have something here, correct answer, to tell me which answer is correct. And the correct answer will be yes. I'm going to put zero because answers will be yes, oops, and no. So correct answer zero means that it's going to select this first one, index zero of answer. So that's what our question is going to look like. So if I want to make another one, I can do this. I, I'll just make it yes and no for now. That's simpler. Is grass green? Sorry, these are, how about is grass uh, purple? No, it's not. So that's going to be one because it's at index one. No. OK, that's all it will be for now. So now I'm going to start making the layout of the app. So I'm going to import a question from question.svelte. And I'm going to import answer from answer.svelte. And I'm going to import points. Ooh, points. From points.svelte. OK, so now I have all those at my disposal. Here it's going to be inside. So on the top, we're going to have question. There'll be the question right here. Below it, there's going to be two answers. I'm going to make an answer container so that I can um, horizontally align them. Um, answers. And then inside here, there's going to be the first answer, which is yes or no, and the second answer, which will also be yes or no. OK, and then I guess here at the top, we can put points. Uh, points. OK, so right now, there's it doesn't show anything. Oh, whoops. Because I need to pass in what the points will be. So I'm going to have this let current question equal 0. So this will be the index. So when I pop that into quiz, it'll return to me whatever question we're on. So we're going to start off on question 0, which is this first one. And so right here, we're going to put, we're going to pass, well, here in the questions, we're going to pass um, sorry, 
quiz um, question equals quiz. I'm just going to call this quiz index so it's easy to remember. Quiz index quiz at quiz uh, quiz index dot question. So that'll be the question text. And so in here, question, let question, we can call it question text, I think it's clearer. Let question text, we're going to just leave it like that. And we're going to have to export it so it can accept it as a prop. As a prop. And what else was I going to choose? Yeah, question text. Um, I'm going to leave that like that. OK. So question text. It's going to receive that. I'll make this uh, an H1. And right here, there will be question text. So, cannot find package points dots felt. Uh, what have I done? Import points from points dots felt. Cannot find. Import points. Um, let's see, do I need these guys? Yeah. Okay, whoops, I forgot to put that. So you're going to need that there when importing. Okay, it's the sky blue. So here it is. It's grabbing from here, and it's putting it up here in the question. Okay, then for answer, we'll put answer text equals, and it's going to be similar, quiz, quiz index dot um, answer at zero. Okay, and then we're going to do something similar. Answer at 1. Okay, so first answer, second answer. And answer is going to be similar to question. Export let answer text. Okay. And then put answer text. There they are, yes or no. And we're going to turn this into a button because that's what they are. That's what you're supposed to do. So is the sky blue, yes or no? Um, and eventually, when you click it, there's going to be an export let check answer. And so I'm going to write that now. I'm going to come down here. Function, uh, function oops, check answer. OK, so if they click yes or they click no, so it's going to pass, how about it passes whatever, well, it could just pass it itself, and then, sure, okay. It's going to pass the inner HTML, the answer text. So it's going to check quiz index, so to get the current quiz question. Um, let current question equal, I'll make that cons, current question equals quiz at quiz index, and then um, that's going to be that. And then we're going to want to check if this answer text is the correct answer. So current question dot answer ah this is bad i should call these answers not answer answers at zero answers at one dot answers dot index of answer text so this will say with the index the index of so if they click yes it's going to go here and return zero because it's at index zero uh, so current question that answers that index of answer text equals uh, current question. You know, this isn't even shorter, so I'm just going to delete that, I guess, and put that here. Quiz at quiz index. So normally I might put a helper function to return that, but just going, just going like this for now. So quiz index dot 
correct answer. Oh, it's too long. So quiz index dot answer dot index equals this question mark. So if it does, then it's true. So true, otherwise false. That's dumb because I can just rather than that, this will evaluate to true or false. So I was just gonna return this. So if they're if they're equal, it means it's true. And it's gonna return true, because they're equal. If they're not, it's gonna return false. So check answer. We're gonna pass check answer down to actually this is gonna be the full handler. So rather than returning, so const is correct equals that. So it'll be true if it's correct, if not. Okay, so if is correct, then we're going to increment points plus equals zero. And I haven't put those here yet. Points equals zero. If they get it right, they're going to get plus one, and they'll get another point. Um, another thing it's going to do is... This may be a bad idea, but we're going to um, quiz at quiz index dot question equals correct. So it's going to override what it currently has right here and put correct. Yeah. Else you're not going to get any points, and it's going to say wrong. Sad face. Okay, so that's going to check the answer. Whoops. And then maybe it'll stay there. I'm going to use a set timeout just so we can get this all in here. Set timeout. Maybe I should be consistent with declaring my functions. Uh, set timeout after two seconds, maybe. Then we're going to increment quiz index to the next one. So it takes them to the next question. Okay, so let's try that. So for answers, we're going to have to pass that through. What's it called? Um, check answer. And I'm going to call it check answer handler because it's doing a bit more than just checking the answer. So check answer handler equals check answer handler. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Copy, paste. Okay, so now it has the check answer handler. And so on click equals check answer handler and it's gonna put in the whatever this inner HTML is it's gonna pass it so answer text on click check answer handler okay is that gonna work I don't know correct sky is blue you wait two seconds is grass purple no it's not uh oh says so correct so we don't want that. Um, why does it say correct? Is grass purple? One. Should be no. Okay, if is correct, then it's going to equal correct. If not correct, huh. So looking back at this, it's probably going to be obvious. Wait, did I click? Is the sky blue? Yes. Correct. Is grass purple? No, it's not. So, oh, it is working. Whoops, sorry. I must have clicked. No. Okay, anyway, it seems to be working. Wrong. Okay, last thing we want to do is display the points. So this isn't very pretty. You can change that yourself if you want, but I'm not going to. Um, so last thing to do is we got points here. Let points equal zero. So it's going to pass the points equals points. OK, now points is going to be here. Right now it's not doing anything. I'm going to give it a position of absolute and put it right 0 and top 0. Um, maybe color will be green. And then right here, so it's going to accept as a prop the parameter export let points and right here it's going to put in the points so there it is maybe I'll give it some padding 
so it's not right up against there. Still doesn't look great. How about there? Sure. Is the sky blue? Yes. Correct. Oh, and I got a point. Is grass purple? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Oh, wrong. I did not get a point. Too bad. Uh, okay, so that's all I'm going to do for now. You know, if you want to add more stuff, you can. I'm going to take this out since we don't need it. Uh, one thing I wanted to check is, can I just put points here? Is that going to work? Yes. Okay, so that's one thing you could do is refactor this out. Another thing you could do is here make a loop so that you don't have to reload it twice. This also you can do what I just did with points since it has the same name. But um, that's the basics for now. You make it look prettier, and I hope you learned something. Bye.